In the new version 2.6 of QTimer, we have more ways of controlling and displaying your timer on top of PowerPoint presentations. So in a conference setup, it's quite common to have this downstage monitor where you combine the presenter view and a timer on top of it. And the advantage of having the timer here instead of having a separate display is that it takes less space on the stage and it's sometimes more convenient for the presenter to have one place to look, you know, so you don't look there at the timer and then there at the presenter view. But a lot of organizers want to have this kind of setup. But to create this, you need quite a lot of equipment. So uh, this is an example from my own work at a place called Central, where we have this video switcher. And um, in order to set up this timer here in this window, I had to use like a hardware switcher here and I put uh, two outputs from my uh, laptop and one output from uh, QTimer and then I need to send the program output to the stage. You know, this one is the same as uh, this one. Uh, so, I mean, this is my main output where I can have all the nice fades and the DV effects, but I have to send to the projector the auxiliary output which is a bit a lighter output you know it doesn't have the transitions and you don't get the preview but i have to do this because technically technically it's all the way i can get this window here on top of the presenter view so for a new version of qtimer we thought why do we need all this equipment just to have this little timer on top of the computer can we do this in software well here's what we try to do Sorry, not this one, but this one. Here is what we tried to do. Okay, so we said, let's ditch the mixer. Let's put everything in software. So we put the QTimer window on top of the PowerPoint. So we can just send the mirror view to the stage. And then you can send the extender view right to the projector. Uh, but of course, in bigger setups, this will not be directly to these monitors. There will be some uh, mixers or something in between, but at least you can see that you save a lot of equipment. So how does this work in practice? Uh, let's uh, have a look. So you can actually see this window here. This is our timer window and it just lives on top of uh, your display, you know, and no matter what you do, it will always stay there. And one thing I really want to showcase is that it doesn't, you know, react to keyboard strokes. So I can just, you know, uh, type in whatever I want and it's not going to interfere. The timer is not going to interfere with whatever you're doing on your computer. And of course, this also means a PowerPoint presentation. So now if we open this uh, uh, PowerPoint, you can see it stays on the top. And when I change the slide, it's not going to interfere anything. And this, these two qualities of this window is kind of unique for QTimer. I've never seen it anywhere. And it's a requirement for making this a working solution in even very demanding and you know, professional setups for AV, where there's very little room for uh, screw ups, you know? I think you can very safely uh, use this window on top of your PowerPoint without using a video switcher. So how do we control it? Well. You need the companion, you know, you need this uh, stream deck here, uh, this bottom here, where I, ha I have now controls for most what I need. When you are in the middle of the PowerPoint presentation, you obviously don't have space for a long list of timers and uh, advanced queuing. Instead, you just need to have this one timer that you can uh, restart over and over again. And to accommodate this, we have some new commands that you can see here. So these are, we have two new commands in the new version of QTimer for companion. Uh, this is, the, you can set the duration to a specific duration. So I made this button here that sets the duration to 10 minutes and 20 minutes and 40 and 50, but you know, you can set it to whatever you want. And uh, secondly, we also have new buttons for uh, like, uh, yeah, okay, so you can subtract X minutes. So you can say you have this button that chops away five minutes from the timer, and we have this button that uh, gives you uh, five minutes for your timer. So you have pretty much uh, full control uh, over this timer just from one single companion page. 
so now you know that you don't need a lot of equipment to have a timer on top of your PowerPoint presentation. But still, I just want to say, I don't want to sell all your switches and all your equipment. I think you still very much can use the old setup that I showed you, you know, to have this, uh, this kind of setup here with the switcher. But what if somebody spills beer on this computer, you know, and, and you have to do everything from one computer? And then I think it's a superpower to have this ability to really uh, use as little equipment as possible and still create a great show. And that's kind of what I want. I want you to make sure that you can have your picture in picture timer, even in those situations where you don't have access to all this fancy equipment. So that's QTimer 2.6. Take care and see you again soon. Thank you.